Hey, this is Dan from LearningCameras.com and I have right here the brand new Sigma 35mm f1.4. This just came out. I've only had it for about a week and uh, so far I want to give you guys a hands-on impression with this lens. So far all I have to say is unbelievable. When you first open the box and pick this up, you're going to notice that it is a heavy lens. It is well built. Uh, well beyond what normal primes are here. I've got a 50 millimeter 1.4 and it feels cheap and plastic in comparison. Even though there's only a couple hundred dollars difference in price, this is definitely a top quality piece of glass. Now upcoming, we're gonna have a full review on this product. And uh, because the, the regular series of Canon lenses are so underneath this lens, I'm gonna go ahead and get the 35 millimeter F1.4 Canon L series lens. And we're gonna put that to the test with it and see how those compare. Because just against a regular series of lenses, uh, this blows them away for, I believe it's $8.99 right now, and sometimes you can find it for about $8.50. This is a metal construction. It's got a piano black finish on it. Everything looks gorgeous. It's one of the first lenses I've ever looked at and just been stunned by how unbelievable it looks. This looks like a 21st century lens. Now compared to the Canon 35mm f1.4 L, even that lens has been around for 14 years and so it really has nothing in comparison to something like this and that lens is still going for about four or $500 more expensive than something like this. Now another thing that I love about the Sigma lens is gonna be the lens cap. Actually feels unbelievable when it puts on, it's firm. I keep this on my, my lens all the time because I don't like using filters and it's just a little bit of extra protection in case you were to bang it up against something or a tree branch. It's probably not going to get inside to the glass. Now the lens cap is going to be Sigma Signature Pinch caps, which I love, and now Canon is going to be doing them, which I'm happy about because for years it was almost impossible to get a Canon lens cap off the lens with the lens hood on. But this one is a little bit different from the other Sigmas that I've owned. This one is a little bit thicker, it's a little bit better, it feels beefier, and it's much easier to put on the lens without feeling like you're just kind of wiggling it on there and you might be hitting the glass. I can't say enough about the construction of this lens. It is unbelievable, unmatched by almost anything I've ever seen in this kind of price range. You're talking less than $1,000. Nothing is going to compete with something like this in that kind of build quality for this price. Even Canon's uh, 100 millimeter L lens, their macro lens, that's probably one of the cheapest L lenses you can buy. And that is not going to compare as far as the build quality and the just looks of this lens. Now, obviously what matters most is what happens when we put it on the camera. So far, the pictures has been unbelievably sharp. Uh, even at f1.4, that's what's going to matter. This is going to be a great inside lens, a little bit of a wider lens if you're shooting in dark areas. Uh, those are going to be some of the advantages to this. Now Canon just put out a 35mm f2 IS. That's their replacement. It's about the same price as this lens. This is going to get you to f1.4 instead of f2. You lose the stabilization, but you're going to gain a, one heck of a lens in build quality. Now let me show you the size difference between these two. It's absolutely massive. These are just no comparison between these two. Now if you're looking for something small and light to put on your camera, this is not going to be your lens for you. This is definitely a heavy, well-built uh, piece of glass on this one, where something like this is going to be a little bit lighter. This is their 50mm 1.4 by Canon. And it's a great lens. You get 1.4 on a 50 millimeter. It's a very inexpensive lens and you get great quality, but it's not going to compete as far as the build quality of something like that. Now, once again, I said, we're going to compare this to Canon's L lines because even though it's actually splitting the difference in price between something like this and Canon's L lens, it's going to be much more comparative to Canon's L lenses. So we're going to get a full in-depth comparison on that. But I wanted to give you guys my first impressions from this lens. Having it on the camera for a couple days has been great. It comes in this pouch, which is uh, a little bit better than Canon's in one sense, and that is it provides a little bit more cushion and padding Canons typically uh, put them in a kind of a sleeve pouch. It's, it's very nice material, but it doesn't offer a lot of protection. Unfortunately, this is really a square bag. It's very bulky. I, I don't know where I'd use it. You can put it on your belt, but other than that, 
you're not going to fit this in your bag really. What I do like about the Canon is having the ability to put it in that sleeve and put that in my bag and now I have a little bit extra security just in case it was a piece of uh, metal or something like that inside my bag or the zipper when I'm pulling it out. I'm going to go ahead and hit that on the bag and not the lens just a little bit extra and it's thin enough to put in my bag. This is not going to go in your bag, but it is a, a well-protected case and it does have a belt clip on there if you'd like to use it. F1.4, unbelievable. So far, everything about this lens has been great. Focus speeds have been great on the 5D Mark III. That's what I've been testing it on. I do have a 7D as well. I'll run some tests on there just for some cropped frame users. Um, this could make a good lens if you're looking for kind of that 50 millimeter distance and you're on a crop sensor camera, something like a 35 is going to get you really close and it might be a, a good option instead of, instead of Canon's option for their, their wider lenses just because they don't have anything this wide in an F1.4 other than their L lenses and something like a 35. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do a full review on this. Ask me any questions that you have before I get that review, but just keep in mind this is an unbelievable lens so far. I'm really excited to use it.